In a village called Rayakonda, there lived a man named Subaya who made a living by chopping wood. He lives with his wife. The income from cut firewood was not enough. There was always a lack of food and clothing. What more could Subaya do? No matter how many days you watch it, this is the same income. There'll be no festival. There'll be no bar. Instead of cutting the firewood and selling it all over again, you can go to the city and do some work. How are we supposed to live like this? Okay, okay. I always listen to you. How many times do I have to say that I don't want to leave this town? I don't have the tranquility in city like I have over here. Do not mention this to me again. Okay? What will we do? I will also be lying here for the sin that bound you. Okay, okay. Cooking is done. Eat and go. After taking meal, Subaya goes to the nearby forest to cut firewood. I walked a long way today. I want to find a big tree, but uh, I can't find one. There, there is a tree, but it is a small tree. Well, uh, let's settle over here only for today. He cuts a tree and puts a bundle of firewood on his head and goes to sell that firewood. What about today? People who buy firewood are not visible. Should we take all these to my home? Hello. Hey, who sells firewood? Come here. How much is this firewood? Do you want whole or half is enough, sir? If you take all of this firewood, I will give you only for 10 coins. I want all the firewood, but I can't take what you said above. I can pay only 5 coins. That's all I can afford for now. Oh, sir. I can't sell it to you at that rate. I am tired again and again, so I am giving it to you for today. Take those five coins and give them like this. It's already too late. If you give me those five coins quickly, I have to go home and I have to take meal. Here are five coins. Put that firewood here. Well, you look very hungry. Will you take meal and go? All are ready. Come, take the meal and go. I have already ready some meal. I am very hungry, but if I eat here. You will have to cook for yourself again. Why? I will go home and eat. Not only now. After taking your meal there, there will be meal for all ten people. You can come and eat whenever you are hungry. But do you always give alms, sir? Yes. I want to do this as long as God gives me strength. Then the grace of God. Oh, okay. Today I will have lunch over here. That day, Subaya was returning home after having dinner at Mr. Datta's house. Hey, you are good and you have a generous heart. I will help you to do this good work. Henceforth, I will give you firewood worth ten coins daily for five coins. Now give me leave. I'll meet you next time. Good son, go safely. So Subaya gives all the wood he has cut to Mr. Datta for five coins and leaves for home. What happened? What's up until lunch time? Did you get a good bargain today? Give me the money that you've earned out of it. Oh, what is not a profitable bargain? Here and behold, five coins is today's bargain. Take it. What? Really giving me five coins? I thought you're giving me as twice as much as you give every day. But you had given me half of it. What have you been doing for so long? What have you been doing the whole day? Where were you? I'm fetching firewood. No one buys it. There is a Brahmin named Sri Datta in Narayanapalli, which is adjacent to our village. He used to give alms to those who came every day. What we have done for such people is very little help. He is always giving alms. He must be very rich. Otherwise, how will he do it? How did you help the one who gave food to so many people at once? He is not as rich as you think. Only one who has a good sense of charity. He is the priest of Narayanapalli Temple. He will give alms only from his income. That's all. What I am asking is that you have helped the Brahmin. Our income is very little. What we can help? Don't think about flying to heaven. First, think about earth. We are living right here. Think about that. What is our help? I told the Brahmin that I would give half the firewood that I had fetched. From tomorrow, I will cut a pile of firewood for him, and next a pile to sell for us. 
That's enough. But if you can't hit two piles of firewood, then will you come over with five coins like this? If you bring five coins like this, how the house will pass? I will try my best to do what I want, and then God's grace. Well, I have eaten in those Brahmins' house. You take your meal, okay? No problem. So Subaya used to cut firewood every day and take only five coins as promised to Sri Dad. One day, Sri Dad was going to sit down for a meal from outside. Oh, sir, I have brought the firewood. If you give me five coins, I will leave. Hmm. Look, Subaya, I can't give you five coins today. Take your firewood and go. Okay? Why? Carrying back? Keep it here. Do you mean money? You can give tomorrow. I am very hungry. Just put some food. I am hungry. Just serve me some food. What a blessing! So, Baya, come and wash your feet first. I will arrange the meal. Okay? After entering the house, Sri Dad tells his wife, "Why did you promise like this? There is nothing left to eat in our house except the vast amount of food that you are about to eat now." How will we feed Subaya at this time? By now, all the food items are full. Don't you know about that? And what is there to think about it? The food that was served to me was enough for Subaya. I think I'm fasting today too. Tell me how many times you do this. When we don't have this, why do you do all this? Where will we bring food from? That God is there to look after everything. Look at Subaya first. Mr. Datu was the one who provided meals. to those who came even if he doesn't have so so one day as usual subaya goes to cut the firewood today i'll cut all the dry trees in front of the forest and the rest are green trees going further in doesn't seem to work otherwise i've never been in before should be uh, careful a bit wild beasts may be there there is a lot of risk anything can happen thinking like that subaya goes to the middle of the forest even if i came this far i could not find a tree this seems to be good this single branch is enough if i hit it it will be three piles it's already too late i will finish work soon and leave thinking so subaya climbed that big tree and sat on the branch and beat that branch as it is very big branch the branch breaks off and falls on the mound under the tree next to it who disturbed my penance i think it is you this is my curse to you live like a dog from now on oh, oh sir i didn't know you were here i have been doing penance here for a 100 years you disrupted my penance sir i used to cut trees and sell firewood every day i didn't do this on purpose i'm sorry sir take this curse back please sir Please sir take this curse back. I cursed you out of anger that you broke my penance. Taking back this curse is not possible for me. Who gave you this curse? But I will tell you an idea which will release you from this curse. Please tell me what I have to do to get rid of this curse sir. Choose two people who give the best alms. After they have eaten if there is any substance left in their waste you will be freed from the curse. But if you become completely white from your current color, it is as if you will be freed from the curse. Understand? Oh, I support my wife with the money I get from chopping firewood every day. Now, if I turn into a dog, what will happen to my wife, sir? You don't need to worry. There will be no shortage of clothes for your wife. It is God who arranges it. Once the curse is released. You will be freed from your troubles and you will live happily with riches. Now give me leave, sir. So Subaya turns into a dog due to a curse and starts a journey to get rid of that curse. Where do you find people with the best charity, as said by that sage? Everything is confusing to me. Yes, Shri Dutt is here. I have seen him so generous. I will go to Shri Dutt as my first attempt. That will be better. Yes. So Baya, in the form of a dog, goes to Shri Dutt's house. Hmm. Today I was able to feed all the guests without any problem. I am very satisfied. 
God gave me the strength to pack food for all those who came today. It's all God's grace. Otherwise, who am I? To eat now. Well, I am coming. Okay. After Sri Dattu has finished eating, his wife threw out the dish. So Baya, in the form of a dog, came there and ate the remaining food from Sri Dattu's dish. Immediately, half of his body turns white. Hmm hmm hmm. It is said that Sri Dattu was very generous. I was immediately relieved of half the curse. But it is enough to find another person to calculate this. One may be found around here. My curse may be redeemed. If the curse is given, then I will live with wealth and happiness after the release of the curse. No matter how many years I chop wood, I will never become that great. Thank you very much, sir, for cursing me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Saying that, Subaya starts trying for the second person. One day, a man named Viraya appears to Subaya while he is ploughing. Seeing that, Subaya goes there. You should chill with the family. Thank you for donating the cow. Guruvaya, who took the donation from there, takes the cow and thinks about Viraya. Viraya is a very pious person. He is doing this to many people, not just me. People like this should always be blessed. Wow! Today I will get rid of the curse. This hero should be equal to that Sri Datta, who is doing the best donation. Wait and see when he eats food. After Subaya waited there for a long time, Viraya ate his meal and threw away the leaf he had eaten on. Subaya immediately goes and eats the rest of the food from that leaf. What? No discoloration? Viraya donated only cows. Why can't I change color? I don't seem to understand. Thinking, Subaya goes to Rajvan and sits. Hey Singha, what? Today Viraya gave again cows donation. No matter what time he sees, he does not donate to anyone in the village. He calls them outside the village and donates more. If you know the truth, you will be shocked. The cow he gives does not give milk for more than two months. After those two months, he knows in advance why he should just feed it and donates it only. Viraya does not donate a good cow that gives milk. Do you understand? Is that why? He would donate to people from outside the village instead from our village. If you do this, definitely he will get sin on him. However, no one can donate like our king did. A great pious man. He has been giving food for a week. Tomorrow is the last day. Tomorrow, along with food donation, cloth donation will also be done. He has been eating there with every one for a week. Have you seen how righteous he is? Moreover. He built good roads for us and dug wells and ponds everywhere. Saying like this, he did a lot. I have never seen such a righteous lord anywhere. Hearing these words, Subaya was very happy and thought in his mind. So it is certain that I will get rid of the curse. Immediately, I must reach the king. He eats with the people instead of in the fort. I will use this opportunity. The very next day, the king will reach the place where he will give food. There he sees the king getting dressed. How good is the king? Along with giving food, he is also giving clothes to all the people. The second person I look up to is definitely this king. It is enough to wait till the king has eaten. After waiting for the king to eat, they throw out the leaf that king has eaten on. Seeing that, Sabaya goes there and eats food in that area. Then surprisingly, what? My complexion did not change even after eating food in the vastness of such a pious king. I see something different about this curse. I must immediately approach the sage who cursed me. So Subaya reached the place where the sage was and said to the sage, "Hello, sir. What, Subaya? You seem to have found only one so far. Half range was only changed. Can't you see someone else? It will be many days since you have received the curse. Oh." I have a doubt. I became half pale after eating the food in Shri Datta's sir spread. After that, they appear to be donating upwards. There is no benefit in eating the food they ate, sir. Moreover, the king of our town is very righteous. For a week, he gave food to everyone and also dressed them. I could not get rid of the curse even if I ate the food that was eaten by such a pious person. There is some mystery in this, sir. I didn't know that, sir. You have to say it, sir. Anyway, uh, I. Among the ones you saw, the cow donation given by Viraya was not the original donation. He is giving away things that he does not need. 
He does not donate it if he needs it. Otherwise, whatever the king gives, it will not count as a donation because there is no self-earning for a king. He spends the money you paid in taxes on the people of that kingdom. In yesterday's donation, food and clothing were from the monies you paid in the form of tax. So it's people's money that he is spending on people. In this, what is the donation of the king? So the rich food the king ate did not get rid of your curse. Look, Subhaya, the right gift is what Shri Datta gave. He gave food to the hungry whether they ate or not. That is what is charity at its best. Try some more. Your curse is near to get rid. Have some patience. Okay? You don't need to worry. Everything will be alright. You just keep on looking. Keep the search on for generous people. Do you understand? Understood, sir. Thank you. Subhaya left from there in a sad mood. Wow. I walked far very hungry. It would be nice to have some food nearby. Near there, an old man is seen carrying a water in pot. Don't you see that old man? He brings water in pots and puts them there. Even if he has no patience, he gets the water for those who pass by this sunny path. This old man looks like he is more than 90 years old. His work is commendable. So the old man takes the food he has brought out of the wrapper and eats it. Hungry Subaya goes to the old man. The old man takes some of the food he is eating and gives it to Subaya. Subaya who ate it became a man once he got rid of the curse. He thanked that old man and returned home. Donation is not big or small. It is that of Mr. Dattu who quenched the hunger of others, that old woman who quenched the thirst of another. The best donation is to help others rather than oneself. Slowly walking towards home, Subaya reaches his wife in the village and lives happily. If you like this story, then like, share and subscribe to our new stories book English channel for more new stories.